morning guys or good afternoon or evening wherever you are what time whatever time you're watching this eric here with driverlineup.com and the world's okayest steering wheel holder coming at you from my least favorite state california I'm trying to get some i'm trying to climb way up here so i can get a good view you guys Flying J, Barstow, California. California has screwed me again. I never learned, guys. I never learned. <sighs> so yesterday was my birthday. Today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. I think it's like 12.30 a.m. I just woke up. I like, literally just climbed out of the truck. Climbed out of bed. So, uh, yesterday was my birthday. And it was just a complete shit day. I mean, just a complete dog shit day. Not because it was my birthday and it was a bad day. I don't really celebrate my birthday. It was just because it was just a complete horse shit day. I didn't get much sleep. Oh, I have I had a video. Uh, had a video that I recorded yesterday, 42 minutes about my PSC trainer. 42 minutes. And this is serious. I mean, I gave it a lot of thought. Sat down, had this nice setting, and then the whole damn video didn't have any audio. So I don't know what happened. So I was gonna have to wait. But anyway. Uh, here at Flying J in Barstow and like I said I got screwed again on California I will never learn I took this load out here if you guys watched the last few videos took this load out here because when we were at the shop at Peterbilt up in PA we didn't have an empty trailer and it was Friday night and we were 10 miles from New Jersey so uh when this got proposed to us, they said, well, you can go ahead and bobtail in. You don't have to have an empty trailer. So that was a huge plus. The second was it had a little time and I could route myself through Springfield, take care of chassis lube and a few other things. It was not worth it. So I think this load paid like $1.07 or $1.05 or something coming into California, which is pretty, you know, pretty typical. Coming into California. But yesterday, man, you guys, I was at war with Road Assist. I mean, at war. I'm not a confrontational guy. You guys, I'm not confrontational at all. I'm not adversarial. Uh, I just, you know, I'm low maintenance. I try to stay out of the way, try to do my own thing, but let me tell you guys, I was yelling, I was on the phone, just losing my shit yesterday. I felt like I was extremely insulted and disrespected on the phone by my road assist advisor. It was very, very insulting the way that went down. And I'm gonna explain it to you guys here in a few videos. I just need to let the, let the dust settle a little bit and figure out let everything work itself out and figure out where it's gonna stand and then I'll come report to you guys what happened. But I told you guys, everybody thinks I'm a Prime fanboy and I never say anything bad about Prime. I told you guys, Prime's not perfect. No company is. And Road Assist is one of their imperfections. In my opinion, Road Assist is about as effective as a lead balloon at actually assisting you on significant issues. Well, I was at war with him yesterday, so that cost me a lot of sleep because that was just hours and hours and hours of uh, being escalated and having to go through all that. So that was the first half of the day. And the second half of the day is because I didn't get much sleep, rolling, Jenna's rolling into California. And uh, my PTA, 
my plan was to get to Barstow, which is 30 miles away from our 90. And because our PTA kept changing based on how close we got to the 90, you know, it when you have a lot of time, it your PTA will just keep changing based on how soon or how late you get to where you're, you know, to your 90. So usually what I'm able to do is if I get to within like 30, 30 miles in my 90, even if I'm not gonna take the load in for like eight or 10 hours later, my PTA still thinks, well, he, you know, he's only 30 miles away. He's gonna be able to get there in 30, 45 minutes. So it'll show my PTA like an hour away, which would let me go request loads. Um, and then I could pick something, you know, for tomorrow morning or pick something with some time, take the load eight hours later and already know what I'm gonna do. You know, already, already have my pre-plan ready. Well, for some reason, someone manually changed my PTA to tomorrow. Well, yesterday would have been tomorrow. So today uh, should be a 14th at like 10 a.m. So it wouldn't let me request loads on load choice because you can't request loads until two hours before your PTA. So I'm like, crap. So I messaged dispatch and I explained the situation. I'm like, hey, I've been fighting with road assist all morning. I haven't gotten any sleep. I can't take this load in right now because Jenna's clock's gonna be up here in a couple hours and I'm not prepared. I don't have the sleep. I'm not prepared to go run all night around Los Angeles or somewhere, so I need to, I need to take some time to get some sleep. But if you could ask sales, if you see anything, you know, between like midnight and six or something, maybe Walmart, FedEx, anything that I can go sneak into, drop this load off, sneak into LA in the middle of the night, get loaded and get the hell out of there. So I want to get out of California. You know, I didn't really even, I didn't really even care what it paid as long as it was quick and easy, you know? Uh, so I asked very specifically for that. Like, like I explained my situation. I need to get some sleep. And I want to get the hell out of California, so I'd like to try and do it in the middle of the night. Can you, you know, ask them that specific? That's what I asked with flea winter. To ask, ask sales to have that kind of situation. Otherwise, I'll just wait till load choice. You know what I'm saying? So that was my request. Well, this is right when he's going home. So he he went home. Uh, day shift, you know, they were they were done. So night shift comes in. Sales, like 10 minutes after that, sends me a proposed load. <laughs> a produce load with five pickups in California. <laughs> All five in just awful, shitty places. I'm like talking like Bakersfield, you know, just all over up there where all the produce is. With five really shitty pickups around California. <laughs> all within really tight windows tomorrow or today the 14th and then uh heading like 2,000 miles to a 90 for like a dollar 50 a mile i'm like come on you guys like i took a dollar five or dollar seven mile to get out here you think i'm gonna go run five pickups in california all day on a weekday for a dollar 50 a mile oh boy I mean, it's not even yeah, the money's not there, but like even the whole situation is not, like I asked for something completely different. You could have just come back and said, no, we don't have anything tonight. You might as well just take your time taking that load in and then wait for load choice. I don't know why they couldn't just say that. I asked very specifically, it, can you just look and see if there's something that gets me out of here in the middle of the night? So I don't have to deal with traffic and get the hell out of California. If there's not, just say no, don't come back and propose load like that when I said I'll wait for load choice if there's not something I swear sometimes they don't listen man but uh so yeah California is proving once again guys you, those of you say the, it's the law of averages man what the hell is going on with California freight I like I've said before last year it was California has always been a pain in the ass 
but at least last year, everybody talked about the produce loads, you know, in 2019. Those produce loads, you got to California and get you a good produce load. You always hear people talking about the produce loads in California. Because last year's produce loads were paying two dollars a mile, two thirty a mile, two fifty a mile. I've taken strawberries uh, up to Rhode Island, I think, for like three bucks a mile, almost three dollars a mile. I think it was like a seven thousand dollar load to take, take uh, organic strawberries up to Rhode Island last year. What's up with getting a five stop pickup, five pickup stops, produce load for a dollar fifty a mile? What the F is that all about? I don't understand it. I mean, this shit's gotta be fixed, man. So once again, California. No, oh, I just don't learn my lesson. I don't learn my lesson. So we're gonna be stuck here all morning because apparently there's no loads ready, so. I'm kind of in this conundrum of do I go ahead and take this load over now? I got a parking spot. I'm somewhere over there. And there's not going to be any parking anywhere around here at this hour. Or for the next four or five. So my conundrum is do I take this load over there right now? Drop it off and then get into load choice and see what's available. Man, this place, look how busy this is. At like 1 a.m. This place is slammed. It sucks. I gotta go put fuel in the reefer too. I really don't want to deal with it. Oh, it is what it is. Uh, so do I take this load over there, drop it off, get into load choice, and see see what's up? Uh, my feeling is that. Uh, that there's not going to be any loads until later today that's my feeling because i think if there was something you know because that's specifically what i asked <coughs> excuse me no it's not corona i vape and i just took a big rip right before i turned this phone on so so if i get over there with a load because it's only 30 miles away if i get over there get this load dropped off by 2 a.m pull up load choice and and there's nothing available for the next few hours, am I gonna be stuck without anywhere to park? You know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the situation. But at the same time, I don't wanna be rolling over there during rush hour morning traffic. So I gotta kinda of thread this needle of, you know, when do I take this load over there? Pull up load choice. Also, I wanna get in a load choice before the day shift starts because then, pre then sales will try and pre-screw me you know when they send you those pre-screw loads out in California to pre-screw you it's actually called a pre-plan but when I'm out here in California it's pre-screw actually I use another word I use an F word uh, but yeah they, they, they try and pre-screw me out here so yeah. man guys yesterday sucked. California sucks Oh my God, everything about it sucks. Driving in it sucks. It was 29 degrees in New Mexico. You get over to California, it's 105 degrees in Barstow. It's just hot, it was dirty. There's flies all over the place over here. Traffic sucked, doing 55 miles an hour. Shitty loads, shitty rates. I don't know why I don't learn my lesson. Oh my God, man. Prime sales, I know you guys don't care nothing about my videos and don't watch this but if someone ever sees this y'all gotta fix california man or just make it so just company drivers come out here because it's crap to do a dollar five dollar seven out here and then get a dollar five with five pickup stops in california come on man do three thousand miles out here almost then you want me to do 2500 miles out of here for a dollar thirty round trip average. One of these days I'll learn my lesson, guys. Anyway, anyway, I guess I go figure out what to do with this load. Get some coffee. Hope you guys are having a good start of the day. It's an early one for me. Be safe out there, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you soon.